welcome to Make Your Day Count. I'm Lindsay Roberts, and let's make our day count. Why? Why not? Let's make our day count for the kingdom of God. Isn't it time that we can honestly look the devil in the face and say, no devil, stop it, that's enough. Get thee behind me, Satan. You will not prevail. In the name of Jesus, this is the day the Lord has made. I'm gonna make my day count. I'm gonna make it count for my family, my friends, myself, for the kingdom of God. Devil, you are not going to get me into your trap, into your plan, and into your process. In the name of Jesus, I choose God's ways. His ways are higher than our ways. His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. And it's time for us, as they say, to live the high road, the high life, the highway. You know, people say my way or the highway. God's way is the highway. And I say it's time for us to let God arise and enemies scatter. I've got something to talk to you about in just a minute, and that something is peace the peace of God that surpasses or bypasses our human understanding. Peace means in one translation, nothing missing, nothing broken. My name before I was married was translated peace, P-E-A-C-E. -E. And I praise God that God gave me the opportunity to understand that there is peace that I can attain just in my family name, but way more than that. How about the peace through the name of Jesus? I like to talk about that. We're gonna talk about it in just a minute. I'm holding in my hand my new book, Discover Your True Worth. Any seed faith gift into the ministry, you can go to richardroberts.org or 844-828-1412. 1412 or richardroberts.org. Any seed faith gift into the ministry, it would be my privilege to send it to you and believe that you can discover your true worth, not just your worth in this or in that that may change over the day, your true worth, your true worth, who you are in Christ and your value in Him. So much value that He went to the cross and paid the ultimate price so that we could have life and have it more abundantly. He said, my peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. We're gonna talk about that and we're gonna expect the peace of God to start today. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. You hold my very moment, you calm my raging sea, you walk with me through fire and heal all my disease. I trust in
Works India Outreach, our local teams travel to rural villages to share the gospel and hand out bundles of needed food and medicine. Recently, they had an outreach in a remote area where many people lived in tents by the road. The team distributed groceries to all the families because they had no help from the government and no rations. The pandemic made it even tougher for them. One of the villagers told them about a man who lived alone in a corner of the village. They said he tested positive for COVID. He was a single man, but he had relatives and friends nearby. The villagers noticed that no one visited him or brought him food for many days. They thought he was going to die of starvation. When our team members heard this, they immediately went to deliver food to him. This poor man was so thankful. He said, I have many relatives here in this village, and a few years ago, I was elected as a village head. Now, no one came near me or saw me. Nobody brought me any food. But who are you, and why are you taking the risk to visit me and give me this food? Who sent this food to me? Then, one of our Greater Works pastors shared with him the love of Christ. He shared about Dr. Richard Roberts, who helps thousands of people in India with food. The man asked, someone is helping me even without knowing me? This is what the Greater Works Outreach is all about, touching people with the love and good news of Jesus Christ. Now God is opening new doors and has called the Richard Roberts Ministry to expand to even more countries, helping rural pastors and sharing the life-changing gospel to the ends of the earth. Jesus said, this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all the world as a witness to all the nations, and then the end will come. The time is now to join hands and be part of this end time harvest of souls through the Greater Works Outreach. It's the Great Commission and we need your help to do it. Join with us today. Go to richardroberts.org or call 1-844-828-1412. Thank you, friends and partners. You know, when you see what's happening in India and in the places around the world, thank God for our partners who make it uh, uh, just an, an opportunity to minister the gospel of Jesus Christ to the nations of the earth when we can minister to people that perhaps we'll never meet in our lifetime. And they can say, who sent this? And we can say, it was sent through the hands of God. I believe it's a miracle. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, partners, for being a part of the outreaches that we're doing around the world. Not only here in the United States, which we're doing that, but literally all around the world. And I thank you for being a part of that. If you wanna continue, go to richardroberts.org, richardroberts.org. And when you do, don't forget, Discover your true worth. Any seed faith gift into the ministry so we can continue doing things like you just saw in India. Any seed faith gift you choose, I'd love to send you Discover Your True Worth. 844-828-1412. 844-828-1412 or richardroberts.org if you have your Bibles. You know, this is one of those things that sometimes you get a word from God and you've read it repeatedly and you've read it and you've read it and you read it again and you've read it and you read it again. And then all of a sudden, it just seems like it jumps off the pages. Well, this is what happened to me. In John, the 14th chapter, it says, and I'm, this particular one is the, the Living Bible. And, and there's something interesting about the way this particular one is worded. And it just, it kind of jumped off the pages. John 14, chapter, uh, John chapter 14, verse 27. This is Jesus saying, I'm leaving you with a gift. <laughs> wow. Doesn't that just perk up your curiosity? I'm leaving you with a gift. Okay, what is it? If my husband says, I'm on my way home and I have a gift for you, I cannot wait to see it. I'm going to tell you a story. I'm going to tell you a little insight to Richard Roberts. Um, so whenever he goes to the grocery store, let's just say he is the grocery store. He's standing up right there waving at me. He is the grocery store shopper in our family because he's the cook. He loves to go to the grocery store. And when I say loves, I mean the word loves. Go ahead, stick your head in. You just can't wait to do it. So you might as well just get it over with. Come over here. <laughs> well, you've come this far. Come on. And 
He goes to the grocery store. It is not necessarily. She's talking about me. He's, it's not necessarily my favorite thing to do, like at all. I don't like to go into large stores, even like clothing stores, when there's like 45,000 million billion things to pick from. It's just like confusion to me. Now you send me into a grocery store that's only got a few things, I can make a decision. But he loves to go up and down the aisles and have adventure and see new things. Now, I will sit in the car and I'll even sit and work in the car or make phone calls or whatever. But inevitably, when he comes out from the grocery store, he would bring me a treat, a gift. Now, it used to be flowers. He'd bring me flowers all the time. But because I have a cat, it was a wonderful Christmas present. And I have this lovely little cat who happens to think eating flowers is a big time. And that's not necessarily good for cats. I don't do that anymore. We had to stop that. So he'll bring me gifts like the magazine from the Pioneer Woman, or he'll bring me the magazine from um, anything that kind of like Magnolia that sparks my creativity. So he'll come out and he'll have something behind his back. And when he puts the groceries in the car, he'll pop out the Pioneer Woman magazine or Magnolia magazine, or my favorite, favorite, favorite thing he does, he'll pop out a little bag that has a card in it. And he will have picked out a card and he will have signed it and he will would have, you know, licked the back and stuck it together and he'll bring it to me. Whenever Richard comes out of the grocery store, I can almost guarantee I'll get a gift. Jesus said, I'm leaving you with a gift. Wow. It says, peace of mind and heart. And the peace I'm giving you isn't fragile. Like the world's peace, the peace the world gives. So don't be troubled, don't be afraid. Remember what I told you. I'm going away, but I'll come back to you again. And if you really love me, if you, you will be very happy to know that I go to the Father who is greater than I am. I'm leaving you with a gift. I'm leaving you with a gift. What would that be? He said, peace of mind and heart. Now, I love when Richard brings me the Pioneer Woman magazine. I love when he brings me a card. I love when he brings me, sometimes he brings me mint Milano cookies. Ooh la la, that is a treat. But it can't compare to the peace of mind and peace of heart that is the gift from God. When Jesus said, my peace I leave you, my peace I give you, not the kind of peace that the world gives you that the world can take away, but the peace of God and it's not fragile. He said, my peace. One translation of the word peace means nothing missing, nothing broken. I want you to think about nothing missing, nothing broken. What's missing in your life? What's been broken in your life? What's been taken from you that you think, I'll never get past this? What's happened to you that you think, you know what? I don't care what I do, no matter how hard I try, I'll never get past this. I've had those moments. What do you do? I personally call upon the Holy Spirit and say, Father God, Jesus said that when he ascends to heaven, John chapter 17, he talked about that he would not leave us comfortless all throughout the Bible. The Bible talks about what God does for us. But one of the things Jesus said, and he was talking to the disciples in the New Testament, he said, I'm not going to leave you comfortless. When I go, I'll, leave, I'll, I'll send the Holy Spirit, the one called alongside to help, the divine paraclete, the comforter. Now, I, in my own strength, sometimes I can be comforting and sometimes I can be comforted. But there are times when I think, Lindsay Roberts, you are never going to get through this in my own flesh, in my own strength. But Jesus said, I'm leaving you with a gift. John 15, 27. Peace of mind and heart and the peace I give you isn't fragile like the peace the world gives. So don't be troubled. Don't be afraid. Let's read that again and just let that thing sink in. I'm leaving you with a gift. If Jesus himself was about to be crucified, was about to go to heaven. Two chapters later, John chapter 17, he's talking to Father God about his knowledge that he's about to go to the cross. Just two chapters later in the book of John. And he says, guess what? I'm leaving you with a gift. Peace of mind and peace of heart. I want to talk to you about being in devastation and absolute despair and going from devastation and despair to the divine healing power of God. How do you get there? Last week I talked to you about time travel and about God's transportation system, how the world has 
time travel. And in that time travel, the way to get there is this interesting transportation thing called a time travel machine. God is the ultimate time traveler. He can go through time and space. He can go to our past. He can go to our present. He can go to our, our future. He said, I know the plans I have for you. They are for your good and not for evil. And what is the machine that'll get us there? The Bible. When Jesus went to the cross, he cut through time and space. He cut through the past. He cut through the present and he went right into the future. And he was very clear. My peace, I leave you. I'm leaving you with a gift. Peace of mind and peace of heart. Leaving. Leaving. That means it's on its way. It's coming. And the peace I give isn't fragile like the peace the world gives. How do you go from devastation and not end up in a train wreck? How do you get to the place where you think, I can't get out of this? I, I, I've been so devastated. The only thing I can think of is absolute derailing. And what's absolute derailing? It's a train wreck. Maybe you feel like you've been through a train wreck. Maybe you feel like you're in the middle of a train wreck. Maybe you feel like what's coming is going to be a train wreck. But God said, my peace, I leave you through his son, Jesus Christ. And he said, my peace isn't fragile like the peace the world gives you. You know, oh, Calgon, take me away. Sometimes I used to laugh at Richard. You have to understand, I would laugh and laugh. One of the things he would bring me from the store is Calgon, and he'd say, Calgon, take her away. And sometimes when you have three small children and a job and a husband and Oral Roberts for a father-in-law, I needed some Calgon. And I would laugh and say, you know, for 15 minutes of Calgon, not just 15 minutes of peace, I'd say 15 minutes of Calgon. But the truth be told, Jesus said, I'm leaving you with a gift, peace of mind, and in your heart. You don't have to live in devastation. You might have felt devastated. You don't have to live in derailment. You might have felt derailed. You don't have to live in the midst of a train wreck. Why? Because Jesus said, my nothing missing, nothing broken, I leave you. Nothing missing, nothing broken broken. And it's the peace of God that Bible says surpasses. One of the ways it's translated is it bypasses your human understanding. My human understanding, sometimes I can't turn my brain off. Sometimes I go to bed and I say, Richard, pray I can turn my brain off because I'll sit with a pad and pencil next to me. Now, if it's for a prophetic word the Lord's giving me, Lord, wake me up and let me write stuff down. But sometimes I just sit and I rehearse and I rehearse and I rehearse the day. Now, sometimes that's delightful, rehearsing what my children said or rehearsing something Richard did. But sometimes it's not so delightful. And I think, Lord, Lord, I need peace with these. I need answers. I need, and the, and, and the, the truth of the matter is, while Jesus was still on the earth, he said, I'm leaving you with a gift wrapped up, tied up with a bow called the Holy Spirit. Nothing missing, nothing broken. The divine paraclete, the comforter. But sometimes we forget John chapter 15, verse 27 is right there in the Bible. We can talk a lot about being derailed. In fact, as they say, I could write a book. I could write an encyclopedia. I could write a volume. I probably could write a movie and then have a sequel and another sequel, part one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, into infinity. Or I can choose to say, I may have felt derailed. I may have been lied about. I could write a book about that one. I may have felt devastated. I could write a book about that one. Or I can trust that my Father God, through His Son, Jesus Christ, has given me a gift. And that gift is peace of mind and heart and not the peace that's fragile, like the peace of the world, but the peace of God that completely and totally surpasses, it bypasses, it goes around our human understanding and goes straight into the spirit. My soul, sometimes my mind, my will, and my emotions need to settle. The Bible says, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, Psalm 103, one through five. Bless the Lord with my mind, my will, and my emotions. And when I do, He heals all my diseases. He forgives all my sins. He redeems my life from destruction. He crowns me with loving kindness and tender mercies and satisfies my mouth with such good things that my youth is renewed like eagles. Wow, wow, wow. Now that's Old Testament, New Testament, before Jesus, after Jesus with the Holy Spirit. That is kind of Genesis to Revelation. And isn't it time we said no to the devil no to derailment, no to devastation, and transported ourselves through the power and the presence of the Holy Spirit, through the word of the living God, and said in the name of Jesus, I receive the gift. 
you can deny a gift or you can receive a gift. If someone sent me a $50 gift card to, to a store in the mall, I'd be spending it. He said, I'm leaving you with a gift. Why don't we just receive it? The peace of God that surpasses our human understanding. Peace of mind and peace of heart. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Jesus has given us the gift of peace. So I pray for you from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet for the peace of God to surpass whatever it is, to bypass whatever emotions you're going through and to go straight into the spirit of the living God and bring peace, peace, God's peace, nothing missing, nothing broken in every area of your life, from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet, physically, financially, spiritually, emotionally, in your soul, in every aspect of your life, in relationships, on your job, in your calling, whatever it is. I pray for the peace of God to cover it in Jesus' name. Amen. Stay tuned. We're going to be right back. The new fall issue of Make Your Day Count with Lindsay Roberts is online now, and it's loaded with encouragement from God's life-giving word. Featured articles include Stop Devaluing Prayer by Lindsay, Expecting the Unexpected by Richard, and so much more. Just go to richardroberts.org to read this free online issue of Make Your Day Count with Lindsay Roberts. So a bit ago, I was having prophetic dreams. I've always had them my whole life, but the specific one I want to talk to you about today was the one where I saw Jesus appear and he was holding his hands out. And in, in the process of holding his hands out, he said, bring your prayer requests to me, bring them to me, put it on the cross. And then he said, trust the work of the cross. And I was holding all these prayer requests and people were all around me writing our prayer requests. And then as we were writing our prayer requests, the sheet of paper that we had kind of became like, I want to say laminated and it looked like a laminated cross. And then we had pens that we could write on it. We were writing our prayer requests. And as we were doing this in the prophetic dream, Jesus was holding out his hand and said, bring them to me, bring your prayer request to me. And he said, put it on the cross trust the work of the cross. If you want to hear all about the different prophetic dreams, go to richardroberts.org. I believe it'll be a, be a blessing to you. I've had many, many, many recently. I've had some I want to talk to you about in the near future because I had another one last night. And I'm telling you this, God is up to something. God is doing something. And it's not like something that I believe is like rattling the earth. I believe what it's doing is settling our heart. Now, God does prophetic words that do rattle the earth, but this one was to settle our hearts. And I believe it's let not your heart be troubled. And if you have concerns, if you have prayer requests and you'd like to send us those prayer requests, go to richardroberts.org slash the cross, richardroberts.org slash the cross. What's gonna happen? We're gonna get those prayer requests and we are going to, some of them are written out, some of them are typed out, some of them are on cards. As we get them, we are bringing them to the cross. Um, Gary in our office actually made this. It's kind of a wooden cross, but we've got them. It's just covered now and covered in the back. But this one is from Nicole and needing a miracle healing for her mother, family healing. healing. This one is for finances to be met. This one, oh, I missed this. This one is for their sister and their brother. This one is for financial healing. This one is um, from healing in need of finances. This one is healing for their eyes, diabetes. And in North Carolina, a daughter and a son-in-law. And as we go on and on, different parts of the country, different people, different needs, but God is God all over. He doesn't have to just be in North Carolina or he doesn't just have to be in New York. He is omnipresent. God is everywhere. And I believe that he knows and sees everything. He hears our cry. He hears our prayers. And I want to join with your prayers. I want to add my faith to yours. I don't want to, in a sense, do it for you. I want to do it with you. So if you'll go to richardroberts.org slash the cross, leave us your prayer request. Give us the opportunity to pray for you. I love to pray. I love to pray in the spirit. I love to pray in general. I love to pray for my family, but I also would like to pray for you. And if you would like that, richardroberts.org slash the cross. Give us 
the opportunity to pray with you. And as you can see where this cross is, it's located, I wish you could see the whole thing here, it's located in a traffic pattern. So even in our office, even the people we work with can walk by the cross, lay hands on it and begin to pray. So we are in a constant state of prayer in this place. So I wanna pray for you, richardroberts.org slash the cross. And I pray for you right now from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Whatever it is that's coming to your mind saying, I, I really need prayer for this. Okay, whatever it is. I pray for your finances. I pray for your physical body. I pray for your marriage, your, fi your, your, your family, your children, your job, your calling. Whatever it is, the Bible says God wants to perfect that which concerns you. So I pray for that in Jesus' name. Amen. Make it count today.